It's nearly July, so let's do the mid-year goal check-in. If you haven't been around since then, I did do my goal setting video at the beginning of the year. So I will leave that linked above and that breaks down everything in more detail that we're going to talk about today. But just in case you don't want to watch that video, I'll briefly go through as to how I made the goals that we're going to talk about today. So I looked at my big goals in life or came up with the big goals in life and then I thought what's some things that I can do this year to try and achieve those big goals and what are the goals that I can like feasibly accomplish this year because I have a really bad habit of setting goals that are just too big and then being really disappointed at the end of it so I came up with goals that were feasibly achievable by the end of this year and then I went in and broke them up into smaller goals if that's not like making sense it'll make sense because I'm going to go through them and the small goals but that's the method that I've used I also use a whiteboard I do want to mention that because I feel like it's very very important and very very helpful I have a huge whiteboard that I keep in my kitchen and on that we have the small goals me and my partner and then our joint goals we have the small goals on there so we remember them and then we can also tick them off we also then have like checklists that we want to do for the month and then for the week and I do find that very very handy so without further ado let's go through them if you want to know what my big big goals are go watch that video because I talk through all of them there but we're going to be going through just like the 2024 goals and where I am with them so first one I thought I'd talk through is YouTube stuff because I feel like that's what people are interested in so my goal for the end end of the year was 4,300 subscribers. I'm currently on 4,100 subscribers. So I think I'm going to hit that goal, which I'm over the moon about. Like, I can't even put in words how excited I am. The fact that my growth has gone quicker than last year. This comes down to a few factors, but the main factor is my next goal, which was more vertical content. I know a lot of you who are here aren't here for vertical content. And by vertical content, I mean shorts. I do call it vertical content because obviously you can post it as a reel, you can post it as a TikTok. Are there any else? I can't remember, but you can post them as different things. And I do normally post them everywhere. But since I've been trying to focus on them, I have just mainly been posting shorts. But I know a lot of you that are watching this video, because this isn't a short, aren't here for them. But it is undeniable that they, they do grow your channel. Like 4,300 was a calculated guess on what I could end on with a little bit added on top. I think I added on more like, I think I added like 50 subscribers on top of my average from last year. And we're six months into the year and I'm 200 away from that. And that that's a, the only thing that's changed is posting shorts. I also had a video that did quite well. So if you hear from that, I love you. Thank you for sticking around. But let's break that one down more because I feel like the 4,300 subscribers, the way I broke that down was literally just I think it was 200 increments. So the way that I broke this down was I planned four shorts. I did plan them. I then had the goal of post one short a week for four weeks. And then I had the goal of, because I planned them like two steps ahead. So the one that I'm on now, I know what my next one is. I then had it as film two a week for four weeks, not post film. But I actually found that when I started doing them, it made, because my the shorts that I, I post and film aren't very like planned, like I don't really do vlogs on them. Well, I do a little bit of vlogs, but I don't do like stuff that needs set up. I didn't need to plan them. I didn't need to like film them separately and then edit them separately. It's literally been the type of thing where I'm just like, if I have an idea, I'll film it as quickly as I can, unless they're things like my nail vlogs or I did one getting my hair done. Like obviously they need a bit more prep, but it was actually, it just, those type of ones where it was like film that many a week, it just, it, it wasn't the right goal for me. So now I've changed them and now they are just post. So it went to post three, three a week for four weeks. And now it's post four a week for four weeks. I'm currently on week two of that because I had a little bit of time off over my birthday and when I went to see Taylor Swift, but I'm ready to get back on it. You guys might have like, you might add this up in your head and be like, well, what, what would that be? And then like adding it up that actually only ends up for like three months. There are gaps in between this, like because I have done it for that amount of time. I'll let myself off. With the, sh with the vertical content, I have actually stuck on it. So if I've been on, when I was on the post three a week for four weeks, after I'd done it for four weeks, I actually stuck with three for a little bit and now I'm on four. And that's fine, I'm still progressing. It's slower than what I've wrote down, but it just, I go off how I feel. At the end of the day, I still am disabled. I'm gonna see how I feel, but there are good rough guidance. And if I fail, I still do go backwards. But the vertical content has been the biggest. The, the biggest help in growing this channel and also that one video that did quite well. Obviously with the smaller breakdowns of these to so like post four a week, there is a cap. 
I'm never gonna post one a day, but I do want that consistency. So the goal will probably stop going up and just be like more consistent. And then obviously I've said 4,300 to the end of year. I'm not gonna change that because I'm just really happy with how it's going. I have a number in my head that I would like to hit, but again, I don't want it to be this thing where I put too big of a number and then I get stressed out and then I don't hit it. And then I just feel really sad and down about it. I have actually made a decision as well in regards to YouTube about how long that I'm gonna keep going for, because I've talked about this a lot on the channel. My channel isn't performing the best and it's not bringing in like any money by any means. And after a while, that hurts. And it just isn't sustainable for keeping it as like a career option. Whereas at the minute, I do treat this like my full-time job. So, and that can only last for so long without getting any kind of monetary gain back and just subscribers to know that I'm doing a good job. Oakley's having a fight with his bed, if you can hear that noise in the background. And that kind of corresponds to the end of the year as well. But I'm not gonna talk about that on here, but there is like another YouTube goal going on in the background. So I'm fine with not setting like a, this is my goal for the end of the year subscribers wise. Okay, moving on. So another goal that I had was have more clothes I feel confident in. I said this at the beginning of the year that I was a bit like stuck on how to break this down because obviously it requires money and things like that. And the first goal that I had was organize clothes to sell. I have organized them, but now I just don't know where to sell them because I keep seeing mixed reviews from Depop and Vinted. So I just don't know which one to go with because everyone has bad stuff to say about both of them. So then how do I sell them? So I'm just a bit stuck. If you guys have any opinions on that, leave them below because I do have clothes that need sold. That one's a bit stuck currently. Next one is the first one that isn't going well and that's read 25 books. I currently only read six. I'm in a reading slump, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm a, I'm 100% in a reading slump. So the goals that I broke that into were read four times a week before bed. I did that, we've, we've got back in the habit of reading before bed, which is great. Then read one times a week during the day for four weeks did that and now it's read twice a week during the day for four weeks. I'm just struggling to commit to it. I just keep forgetting and then I keep, because I'm not particularly like loving any of the books that I'm reading at the minute, I just don't have the motivation to do it but I will get back on track. I'm determined. It's going to be a lot of books in the second half of this year but I'll get there. My next one is do a chin up and I have completed that goal. I have done it. With this one, this was another one where I felt like I didn't really need to break it down because I was doing everything that I needed to to get there. It was just time. I just had to, I just had to wait till I could get one. And I can now officially do two. I got two for the first time last week. So that goal is ticked off. It's done. I made it. I got it before the midpoint of this year, which is very exciting. The next goal was less time on TikTok. Now I said this in the, the other video but let's not judge people for how long they spend on certain apps, okay? I get it, I get it. I was on it a lot, but in my defense, I was on it whilst I was doing everything else. I don't wanna be, I don't want it to be quiet in this brain, okay? So I used TikTok to distract myself and I was on it for a really, really long time. So to break it down, I did it in basically reducing the time I was allowed on it using the Screen Time app on Apple, which has been great. It has it has really, really worked. I told myself that I just wasn't allowed to ignore the reminder and I've stuck with that until the last few weeks, but I've been struggling. I've been struggling. I didn't have the best birthday. I've had basically like a permanent headache since I had my MRI the week before my birthday. So I've just been struggling. So for the last few weeks, I haven't stuck to it, okay? But I'm gonna from now. But the increments that I did was, it was limited to four hours a day for two weeks. Then I limited it to six pickups a day. Then I changed it to limit to 3.5 hours a day for, I think it was two weeks again. Then limit to three hours a day. And I'm currently on limit to 2.5 hours a day, but I just haven't changed it yet. I've been really lacking with it. My motivation has just gone. I feel really like proud of myself that like I've kept with so many of these goals so far because this, this year has been unexpectedly, unexpectedly hard. When I filmed that first video, I was really excited for this year. And then in like April, three things kicked off in my life, separate things kicked off simultaneously. And then it just hasn't really ended. And with my autism, I tend to ruminate on things a lot, like a lot. It is not quiet in my brain. And even though like situations have eased, like not eased off because things haven't, nothing's resolved, but it's kind of like, finished for lack of a better word even though things are finished i haven't stopped thinking about them like 
at all. <laughs> so I'm quite proud of the fact that some of these goals I've been able to achieve, but this one, it's just, it's just stagnated because like I say, when it's like, there's a lot of thinking going on in my head about situations that are kind of just not out of my control, but there's nothing more that can be done. I like to distract myself on TikTok. So it's kind of just stagnated. I still, like I haven't changed the screen time limit. It's still there at three hours. And like I say, it's only been like the last two, three weeks that I've been like pressing ignore. Maybe only the last week to be honest, but it is definitely better. And the whole, the main goal of this is less time on TikTok and I'm definitely spending less time on TikTok. I don't go, I think I mentioned that me and Jack use TikTok as TV sometimes. Like we used to just sit and watch it before we went to bed for like half an hour, sometimes an hour. We don't do that anymore, which is nice. I'm much more like purposeful when I go on it. Like if I'm on it, I'm on it for a certain amount of time and for some reason and then I do something else and like there's been some times where I've went to pick it up and I'm like could I be doing something else and I have done something else so it's definitely getting better it's just stagnated a little bit but I'm doing this video so it's gonna get better okay the next one again was affected by the stuff that I mentioned and again there is no judgment please here obviously judge however much you want but please don't leave a comment saying I'm disgusting because I'm talking about hygiene issues within autism. If you are not autistic or know someone with autism, you're probably never gonna understand the hygiene issues and that's fine, but don't judge somebody who has to deal with that stuff. And I mean that in the most loving way possible. Please learn about it or just accept that you don't get it and that's fine, but don't judge the people who have the issues. But I feel like it's a still like a taboo subject and I feel like people in the community really appreciate people talking about it, so I'm gonna talk about it. But the next goal was put more effort in my appearance and that was, I was trying to take it back to the base layer. So I want more like good looks, more like, like fashion looks, doing stuff with my hair, my makeup, but I took it back to the base level. And the first one was wash my face at tea time five times a week for two weeks. I did that one. And then we moved on to shower and everything shower once a week for four weeks. And by everything shower, I mean like wash my hair, exfoliate, wash my face like really well, shave whatever I wanna shave. You know, the typical everything shower that we always talk about. Do that once a week for four weeks. So I have done them and then I just haven't picked my next goal because like I say, I just stopped focusing on it. But I do feel like I'm still doing it. Like I'm still doing my everything shower once a week. I'm still trying to get that consistently. Like I'm not going backwards, I'm just staying where I have been and I do feel like I've been putting a bit more like effort into my appearance in the ways that I wanted in the way of like when I film I try and like do my makeup and do my hair so that I feel like proud of it when I look back and also leaving the house and just feeling more like I'm putting an effort into myself and like I said in the first video this doesn't matter like if you don't think this matters to you that's fine I'm not judging you for put not putting effort into your appearance that's completely a-okay it's just something that I feel like makes me feel better just in my mood. But if this isn't important for you, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, I need to come up with the next like little goals, but I do feel like I am doing the overall goal, which I'm happy with. I, oh, I was also, I'm also trying like new makeup routines or features. Like I've done little shorts where I'm like trying new blush placement and I wanna do some ones with eyeliner and things like that. So I feel like I'm getting there. And I do feel like that also links in with having more clothes I feel confident in. So they are a bit interlinked. The last one was another one that I felt like I couldn't really break down and that was keep romanticizing. So that for me came in the way of like having little videos of how cute life is. And I have been still taking those videos. I have some really cute videos on my phone. And especially since I upgraded the iPhone 15, like I really do feel like it's a good camera. I I feel like it's a bit of like a you love it or you hate it and I really like it. But I definitely feel like I've been doing it more in the moment as well. Obviously it's not all about like videos and photos and stuff, but I do feel like when I've been having those moments that I'm like, this would make a cute video. I am also not taking the video and just sitting in the moment and being like, this is really cute. Like this is lovely, this is so pretty, which is really nice because I am definitely someone who struggles to like live in the moment. I don't really understand what that means. So me taking note of those moments and being like, this is really cute or really pretty. It, it feels like I am romanticizing stuff better. And that was all the goals. The only other thing that I want to mention is that you, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, me and Jack have like monthly and weekly goals, completely fallen off doing them, completely fallen off. We don't take them off when we do them because obviously we're still doing them, but we aren't taking them off. We just forget. We didn't do great with doing monthly date night. Like I think we only did four months out of the six. Same with the outdoor day. So I'd love to get back on track of that. Me and Jack had like, when I was planning this video, me and Jack sat down and talked about like his goals and our joint goals. And we're definitely gonna try and get back on track with 
ticking things off for the weekly and monthly checklist as well. I do find it really useful. But yeah, that's all of them. But that is how 2024 is going so far. Bit of a mixed bag. I'm hoping the second half of the year is gonna be way better than the first half of the year. But I am over the moon about how YouTube is going. I just need to get my ass back into gear and get back on posting shorts. If you have came from a short, please let me know. I'd love to know that. I don't know how well subscribers coming from shorts translate into regular long form content. So if you're here from there, please let me know. I hope everybody is doing really well with their goals for the year. Please be kind to yourself. If you're not, it's not the end of the world. You've still got six months and yearly goals aren't the be all and end all. It's fine. Don't put pressure on yourself and don't be unfair on yourself. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. I hope you enjoyed. If you could leave the video a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. It really, really helps to grow the channel. I know I'm repetitive, but really, it really, really helps. So any engagement is but even if you don't do any of those things, thank you so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you in another video.